welcome back to my Con Marie series. This is my deep freeze, and I'm just going to give you a tour of my deep freeze as I've organized it. Unfortunately, I didn't think to do it before. So this is this is it. This is what it is. So I've got as I put things in, I use a lot of freezer bags, and so I find that they just slide all over. So I grabbed some of my Stitch Fix boxes and my Amazon boxes and. I had a Mary Kay box and a shoe box, and that's what I'm putting the bags in. So my onions are from last year. They're frozen flat, and then I stand them up. That works really well. And then I've got a box of raspberries from this year. Very excited to have some raspberries. And then this is the meat that is from last year that I need to use first. I have a, another deep freeze that's got all of the meat in it. Down here is a box ready to go for corn. When we harvest corn, I have a few in there left from last year that we need to use up. Here's my asparagus and my peas. Peas and broccoli right now are being harvested in my garden and so that's what these trays are. These have been, this broccoli has been blanched and now it's freezing on the trays and the peas have been shelled and washed and they're freezing on the trays. When those are frozen, then I'll take them off of the tray and put them in bags to go in their boxes and in their places. Then here are my freezer jams. I've got raspberry, strawberry, and strawberry rhubarb here. I think this is the, I'm pretty sure this is the first year in 20 years that I have done freezer jam. So anyway, I'm excited about that. My family's really excited. So I haven't had freezer space for it in the past. So I've always canned it and they just don't like it as well. We go to grandma's and they just eat her out of jam because they love her freezer jam. So we made our own this year. Long story, sorry. Here's our strawberries and they are a bit overflowing from the box. I wish I had boxes that would come clear out the shelf that were that deep, but I'm using what I have. Like, they're just cardboard boxes. They're not fancy container store or anything, but I think they'll work really well in the freezer. I've got peaches from last year and some blueberries from this year. We just had a party and we had some left over, so I threw them in the freezer. They are such a treat in the winter time. So down here, some broccoli. I'm, that's the shoe box. I'm not sure if that's gonna be big enough or not, but that will help contain them and give them a, a space to be. And then I've got a, a bag of almonds that I've been sitting in front. Then here I've got some frozen hash browns, some taco shells. We were preparing for something. We bought too many, so these are in the freezer. We'll see how that works out. My butter. Um, some bread and then down here is some more meat that is just older meat that needs to be used first so when I need to meat for dinner I come to this freezer first and find what meat is available and then I've got some rhubarb bread that I made when I was harvesting rhubarb this spring so that is my fruit and vegetable freezer I don't put anything in the door because I find that it just it's better to fill the shelves the door if you put too much in the door then it can sag so I've just opted to not put anything in the door and I'm excited about how this is going to work for me because in the past they were just like those onions and but they would just slide all over each other and so this will help contain it much better and yeah it looks a lot better I feel good about it and I, I open it and I just smile because I'm like, oh, I can see what I have and where it is and the kids can see and, and find it much easier as well. But that's my fruit and vegetable freezer.